Right bro, so I've got an interesting concept for you. This applies to most, if not all, areas of your life and I try and use it wherever possible because life's busy and it's hard to achieve what you want to achieve if you're sort of overexerting yourself in different areas. So the concept is minimum effective dose and I'm not sure if it was Arthur Jones that came up with this or he was just promoting it but him and Mike Mensah really promote this in terms of bodybuilding and building muscle but you can apply it to everything so I'll try and explain and then I'll sort of tell you how to use it. So in any area whatever you're trying to achieve there is a minimum effective dose of that thing. So take cold water exposure. I'm pretty sure I watched a Huberman Lab podcast on this. And to get the positive benefits of cold water exposure, you need to be submerged up to the neck for 11 minutes a week. And then there's, so for sauna, there would be a minimum effective dose. So anything less than 11 minutes in a certain temperature so he, t he says 11 minutes up to the neck at a certain temperature I can't remember what the temperature was but any less your body's not going to respond in the desired way so like whatever the positive benefits of cold water exposure are you're not going to get those less than 11 so once you've done 11 minutes you've met the minimum effective dose after that you could be in the cold water for three hours, but you've all, but there's diminishing returns. So if you do five minutes, it's not as good. Once you hit 11 minutes, the minimum effective dose, you've got the benefit. Any more diminishing returns. So say, and there could actually be negative side effects. So say you stay in that water past the 11 minutes minimum effective dose for three hours. Well, you're not getting any more benefit, but you might get a negative side effect of like stimulating the immune system too much and getting a cold like or getting ill from it. So you could actually get ill. The same applies in the gym. If you're trying to build muscle, Mike Mentor would say do one set to failure is going to cause growth stimulation. Any more is overtraining. So you could do a set of biceps, meet the minimum effective dose to stimulate that muscle and then do four more exercises on biceps and that's actually going to hinder your progress. So you met the minimum effective dose, now you're just overtraining and causing the body to not build muscle as effectively and that's a waste of time. So you could do one set. So Mike Mensah sometimes promotes workouts that are like 25 minutes long. So you could do your 25 minute workout, hit the minimum effective dose and then waste another hour thinking, oh, I'm getting all this benefit when in reality you'd already done it. So this applies to everything. So another example is working. When you work in the UK, I can't remember what the threshold is, but there's a tax threshold. If you earn up to like 12 grand a year, you don't pay tax. Anything over that, you pay, I think it's 20% tax. So the minimum effective dose is to earn 12 grand. Once you exceed that, your hourly rate has now gone down because you're being taxed on that extra earnings. So the minimum effective dose is 12 grand. Then there's diminishing returns because now you pay tax on it. So, but obviously you still earn more money, but you're just paying more of that away. So, yeah, that's minimum effective dose. But you can apply it to pretty much everything. Right, I've just thought of a quick example. So when you're trying to build muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus to supply the extra mass. But the minimum effective dose is going to be around 150 to 300 extra calories above your maintenance. If you eat 1,000 extra or 2,000 or 3,000, the minimum effective dose has already been reached and now you're just going to gain fat. So you're not going to build muscle, you're just going to add fat. So that's diminishing returns. So more is not always better. So the idea is people just think work harder, do more. If you're trying to lose weight, do more cardio. If you're trying to build muscle, add just eat more. But you just want to do what's required 
the minimum required, not more than you have to. So if an hour of cardio is beneficial, two hours is stressful on the body. It's going to raise cortisol and be detrimental. So to just go, oh, cardio is good for weight loss. I'll just do 12 hours of cardio a day. At a certain point, the minimum effective dose is going to be reached and then any more is pointless. So just to use this video as an example, if I give you one example and the majority of people get it, I could spend another hour explaining another example after example. But if you've all got it, it's a waste of everyone's time. So you just do what's required and then don't do any more.